Your generosity and support provides hope to hundreds of thousands of individuals in our archdiocese whose needs are being met by ministries that no one parish can support alone. In 2018, the Catholic Services Appeal Foundation plans to distribute $8,800,000 to the 18 collective ministries in our archdiocese. These ministries are shaping the future of the Catholic Church. St. John Vianney College Seminary. The process of forming future priests is one of the most essential ministries we have. They are our leaders by their witness of prayer, by the way that they love, and their generosity of service. I want many of them to be saints. That's my greatest hunger for them, is that they would be saints. Campus Ministry Newman Center. There are an estimated 15,000 Catholics attending the University of Minnesota Twin Cities. The St. Lawrence Newman Center provides a welcoming Catholic community that encourages students to both encounter and share the abundant love of Christ. Archdiocesan Council of Catholic Women. The love, concern, and conviction these women have to aid the poor, the marginalized, and the voiceless in our society is both inspiring and life-giving. Debbie. ACCW President. Marriage, Family, and Life. The family lives in a complex reality in our world today. And so we need to be there to help support them and to strengthen them and to have someone that they can lean into when they need help most. Our future hinges on the health and the vitality of the family. Parishes. The CSAF distributes all of the funds it receives to the collective ministries and to pay its expenses. The parishes are recipients and receive 25% of the amount collected if they meet their goal. Venezuelan Mission In these difficult times in Venezuela, funds from the Catholic Services Appeal are making a difference. Father Greg, Pastor, of Jesu Cristo Rusicitado. The St. Paul Seminary. The St. Paul Seminary has given me so much. There's always been this longing to be everything that God is asking me to be, to grow and, and heal from you know anything that's happened in the past. And the seminary environment here is so strong. This is a thriving community of good men trying to serve God together. American Indian Ministry. I find the faith and mutual support of the people in the Gichitwa Katiri community absolutely necessary for my own faith. Lawrence, parishioner at Gichitwa Katiri. Elementary School Subsidies and Scholarships. Catholic education is a great way to continue Catholic practice and faith in communities, uh, starting with youth. And it's really fun to see the kids growing together in their faith and along with their educational growth as well. The CSAF supports every archdiocesan elementary school through the distribution of either a block grant or five student scholarships. Catholic Charities. Catholic Charities serves those most in need. They are a leader in solving poverty, creating opportunity, and advocating for justice in the community. Campus Ministry St. Paul's Outreach. I am eternally grateful for the guidance, love, and support of this community. It continues to call me on to greater holiness and lead me to the Lord. Steph. SPO alumna. Rachel's Vineyard Twin Cities. Rachel's Vineyard puts on retreats to bring healing and hope and forgiveness to those who have experienced the loss of a child through abortion. Rachel's Vineyard is a life-changing experience. I had an abortion when I was 16 and um, moved on with my life as though it was 
something that wasn't important. We see Christ pour out his mercy to these broken hearts. Deaf Ministry. The priest himself is able to sign. The choir signs. The music is signed. So that's what makes it so unique that we can really participate and be involved using our language and our culture. Beth, parishioner at Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Hospital Chaplains. Religious and sacramental care for Catholic patients, providing resources on ethical issues, crisis support, and bereavement care are just part of the role of a hospital chaplain, addressing the spiritual and emotional needs of patients and families. Latino Ministry. The Archdiocesan Office of Latino Ministry supports programs for Latino Catholics in 23 parishes of the Archdiocese who have an active Latino ministry. High School Scholarships. Over 75% of our students are on financial aid. And I find that the kids who receive scholarships and, and aren't capable of affording it tend to be the most grateful for this education and for Catholic education in general. They're grateful to be able to go to Mass. They're grateful to learn about uh, the sacraments. These are all things that help in a world that doesn't value the spiritual life like it should. Evangelization and Catechesis. I am grateful for the Office of Evangelization for providing opportunities for me to grow in faith and to encourage and equip me to fulfill my call to participate in the new evangelization. Cheryl, parishioner at Our Lady of Grace. Prison Chaplains. With the help of approximately 90 volunteers made up of clergy and laypersons, Prison Ministry reaches out to provide the sacraments, mass, communion services, and spiritual direction to those incarcerated. Because of your support, men and women can have healing after an abortion. Because of your support, we're able to instill the Catholic faith within our students. Because of your support, young men can come to St. John Vianney to be formed to be future priests. I believe that we're in the best possible place in each moment when we're doing exactly what God is asking of us. And that always begins with an opening of our hands and our hearts to receive what he's giving us and then turning to others to give them out of that wealth that we've received. I'd like to thank all the donors who contribute to the CSAF. And I understand how hard that is that there's many, many needs that vie for your valuable resources. And I deeply appreciate all that you are doing. Thank you for your gift. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.